to enter, draw, draw your weapon and show them to me. Hello there adventurers and welcome to Wally DM. Today we're going to take a look at a trap that you can find in Grimtooth's Ultimate Trap Collection. This was created by Eric Taylor and published a long time ago. Now I'm really looking forward to this trap as far as using it because I think it would be a great way to put a gate in front of a thieves guild or secret organization. Let's dig in and find out what this is all about. So this is a fairly easy trap that you can use in your online game or in real life. Now our adventuring party enters this direction here. And there's a few different ways they could go. They could go north, which will lead to a different room. We're going to call this room the study. Or they could go west. Now the problem with going west is there's no door handle and this door is actually magically sealed by a 72nd level wizard and cannot be opened. Now in the book at the top of this door is an eye and below the eye is a saying that says draw your weapons and show them to me. However, I'm going to run this a little bit different. So instead of the eye and the saying that says, draw your weapons and show them to me, instead I'm going to put a mirror right here. Now when I run this trap, this is going to be the door to a nightclub or a secret guild or something like that. And this man in the mirror is going to serve as my bouncer. So let's say that our characters are spreading out and investigating things and our fighter in green comes up and takes a look and sees what's in this mirror. He is going to see an individual that has been keeping an eye on the party. And when this fighter approaches, he's going to draw his dagger from his scabbard. And he's going to say, to gain entrance, draw your weapons and show them to me. So at this point, perhaps our rogue is also interested and comes up to see what's going on. And let's say our fighter does just that, draws his sword from his scabbard and shows it to the entity that is within the mirror. Now when he does that, that's going to set off a trap. And instead of using lightning that's described in Grimtooth, instead I'm going to use the spell Thunder Wave. So saying that these are 5 foot squares, we're going to have a 15 foot cubic explosion. That's going to erupt in this area here. And then we're going to need to roll for our first level Thunder Wave 2d8. So we have 12 points of damage. And these two characters here are going to need to make a saving throw. If they make their saving throw, they're only going to take half the damage. So this fighter, let's say he makes it, he's going to take 6 from the Thunder Wave. But if this character fails, they're going to take the full 12 and get blown back 10 feet. It's at this point that I'd have the bouncer that is in the mirror repeat his statement, and this time probably with a little bit of a laugh. To enter, draw your weapons and show them to me, and again he'll be thrusting forward his dagger. So the trap is going to be ready to trigger again, so if our cleric comes up and tries to draw his mace and shows the mirror the mace, then again the thunder wave is going to go off and hit all of those within range. What actually needs to be done to get through the trap is we have a pun that is going on. So our characters are going to actually need to physically draw their weapons on a piece of parchment. So let's say these two characters are frustrated, but our wizard over here, he's made an intelligence roll and realizes that if he were to take the time to actually draw his dagger on a piece of parchment and then show that parchment to this entity that's in the mirror. Then this entity will look back at the character and say, permission granted. And this character will be able to go through the door. Of course, there will be a little bit of a magical force that will keep all other characters from going in if they haven't actually physically drawn their weapon on a piece of parchment and showed it to the mirror. Now, if our characters struggle in order to figure out what the mirror wants, then I've drawn this study up here so they can come up in this area and perhaps they see a large table or desk that has a lot of ink and pens and scrolls, parchment, things of that nature. And perhaps there's even a few other drawings. Maybe someone else has already drawn their mace on a piece of parchment in here or something like that. And then from here, the characters can figure out that, ah, that's actually a pun. We actually need to physically draw our weapons on a piece of parchment and show them to the mirror. Now, once each of our characters shows their artwork to the mirror, they're able to go through the door and continue you on into the secret hideout or this secret location. Now when you run this trap in your game, I think it's very important to have the figure draw their own weapon and thrust it forth. You really want to emphasize that so that you're misleading your characters just a little bit to think that they need to draw their weapons as well. But little do they know, it's just a pun, but we want to get at least one thunder wave to go off before we move on to the solution to the trap. 
Now, if you don't like the idea of using the mirror and the figure in the mirror as a bodyguard, then perhaps you can go back to the original purpose of the trap with the eyeball and then the saying underneath. But I also thought that it'd be really cool if we maybe make that figure a two-dimensional being that lives on top of the door. So there's actually an etching of this person on the wooden door, but they are animated. They can move around. They're watching. They can talk. Things of that nature. But it'd be really cool magically to see this come to life on a two-dimensional space. Now, if your characters are struggling with getting past this trap, then I would highly recommend introducing them into the study and having the extra drawings of weapons in there, and perhaps that will clue them in, or at least allowing them a DC-15 investigation check to realize that what the figure is saying with regards to drawing your weapon might have a different meaning. Now, I realize that not everyone wants to have their puzzle and trap doors locked by a 72nd level wizard, or have that unexplained magical barrier that doesn't allow them to get through. So if you want to allow your characters to use a knock spell or find some other way to bust down or open the door, then I highly encourage you to do so. And perhaps with that, maybe just one big thunder wave will crank up those D8s and just have a one-time effect. But of course, if they go through and actually draw out their weapons and things of that nature, then they're able to get through the door without issues. But of course, if they try to bust it down or get through a different way, don't forget that we can have an alarm sound, and once they finally get to where they're going, there could be a few folks that are ready and waiting for them. So that's all I have for you today. What did you think of this trap? Is this something that you could use in your game? And if so, what would you do differently? And are you a fan of the Grimtooth series? Which one of your favorite ones from the Grimtooth books? I think these are just amazing traps that you can use for your creativity and bring back to today's game. That's all I have for you. Thank you very much for watching and on to the next.